finish up the zoo because there's space. Oh, okay. You get it. I get it now. If it was there from the beginning. But I want to, so I want to take the bishop out because this moves straight, right? Pardon? I want to take out the bishop. This moves straight. Yeah, it moves, no, it moves straight, yes, mm -hmm. but then it takes diagonally. Diagonally. So the only way you can take me, if, if you come for it, I'll take you. Because it's my turn now. So let me know, let me not move this one. Yeah. So I'll we'll find another I'll way. I'll move this. Okay. Not bad. Ah. Hey. Wahala. It's quite interesting. <laughs> one wrong move. I ah, know. Okay. This move straight, so you can't take me out, obviously. <coughs> My dear. Ah, I told you to take that. <laughs> yeah. Hey, welcome. Welcome, this is a loud response board, and we are live on your screens from Accra, Ghana. My name is Isabella. Call me Isabi if you may. And you know, I'm still trying to get my hands around the game of chess. I'm not, I'm a beginner, I'm a new player, and the pro here is trying to get me on board. I'm placing a bet. By the end of the first season of Loud Respects, I'll kick your ass. Okay, but, but me, I'm not a pro pro. When we talk about a pro, we have to go to Russia. <laughs> I mean, I get it, but Coco, Mondi, the big mama, of course, the big beer. Yeah, it's still the Loud Whispers board. Welcome once again. And you can find us on YouTube at Vitamin TV. You can also find us on Spotify. Get all the previous episodes at Vitamin Podcast. You can also follow us on Instagram. Hope you guys have been okay, you've been catching up. And make sure to leave your comments and thoughts in the comment section and we'll get interactive. Now moving on, tell me, how's your day been? I mean, how's your week been? Uh, well, the three music awards event. Let me start. It was a really um, exciting place to be at. It's where you see... Um, Meet people. Gonna... Not just people. You actually see the... Um, I don't want to call them celebrities per se, but like these people that make names for themselves locally and even globally, globally yeah. or even in other countries, you see them mingling with other, um, I don't know, um, masses or the general public, and they are all friendly and nice. Yeah, you can even go you and life. hug someone like of Jason, course. the um, MC for the pre event. Yeah. You could just go and hug someone. It's, it's just normal. Like, everyone is just vibing. No I mean, weird energy. At the end of the day, we're all human, right? No weird yeah, energy. It achievement. was really a calm place to be at. But the timing was really bad. Oh, the style late? Yeah, they wasted my time. The, on, the, on the events, um, the inv invitation or the invite, it says it starts at 4 p.m. I understand the Ghana man time um <laughs> Ghana man cliche time. that has been going yeah. on but to be very honest it was very bad i think the pre-event started just around nine getting to ten. Oh. i don't i'm not kidding you that's crazy and as, as at 4 p.m and you guys start at 10 yes we start at 10 that's and the that issue with really us bad. black people but I don't, let me commend the organizers first because i don't think the problem was from them they executed your job perfectly they came so early, attendees they, were they set up the place, they did everything. It wasn't, I, I, I blame the artists that came to perform. They, they came were not on late. time. No. Oh, man. They were not on time. That's bad. That's Hence, bad. that made the program delays. Mm -hmm. Like, it was very bad. I felt so tired even before. I mean, if a program, program is to start began. at 4 p.m. and then it's, it's not like maybe it's an hour late. And I was there waiting. How many yeah. hours late? Wow, you must... I was so tired and yeah. I couldn't even finish the program because as at 2 p.m. they had not finished. But we have to do better with our timing. Oh, no. As black really people, bad. a black person would tell you, I, I, I'm 30 minutes away. He's now getting in the shower. We have to do better. The organizers, really I commend better. you all from Jesse to Lareen to... They did well. Yeah, Alex. They, 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 they did hard working jobs. and. Wow. The organizers and then the partners from Yango. You had Belakwa, mm. understand? You That's had 
Uh, yeah, there were other security measures on point. And everything was great. Except Every, the timing. Yeah, except the timing okay. and the... Um, Hopefully we can do better. Yeah. They'll do better. They should. You should. Do better. But apart from that, three TV. Three music awards. Three music awards. Mm. Three music TV. You And you did your best, I believe. I, I had a great show from the performances. Lyrical Joe... To if your daughter sh- shaking some ass and all that. Oh, yeah, and I, I actually fine. saw that you know she hosted the event. That was the first yeah, time. Yeah, she hosted with um um she hosted with Jay Foley, and it was such an amazing thing to see. I mean, that's nice. They did their best, but Jay Foley, I didn't like that comment you made about since we are all Ghanaians, it should be normal that we all come late to an event. No, no it's no. not good at all. Oh, he said it, that it wasn't good. Yeah, he said that a lot. Like. You know we are all Ghanaians, so Ghanaman time, right? You're all, you're all good, right? No, we are not good because at the end of the day, I, you don't know where I came from, Jay Fully, and then I've been there for such a very long time, only to come before four um, p.m. and then the program starts way after six. That's, that's very that's bad. That's actually ridiculous. That's very very bad. I mean, it shouldn't be normalized. We we just Apart have to do that, better. Yeah, it's all love. It was actually one of the best events I've been to, coordination wise, organization wise, the way everyone was just relating. It was it was a wonderful thing that's to nice, see. That's yeah, nice, that's nice. I, I loved it so much. That's good. I mean, we are still on the issue of Galamse though. Yeah. yeah. Yes. It so, is very. Yes. It is very serious. We all have to come together. I haven't again, drawn my again. stance. We are all, of course, pushing the agenda that we have to end Galamse. We have to free the citizens. So please, let's all make it a point to support on social media. If you can go there in person, let's all do well From to support Ted. to push the, this agenda. To fit, right? That's today from yeah. Ted. That's today to the fifth of October. There is a rally going on, or there's a protest going on. Um, just uh, the details will be given later, but then there is a protest going on. Please support, go there in your numbers. We are all Ghanaians. If you can't go there, please support from your social media hashtags. Please, especially if you have a l- large audience. Keep pushing this agenda forward. You mm. never know who is watching you who can even pick this up as a case study and help you out. We don't need a fellow Ghanaian to help us. We need to help ourselves. We need to help ourselves. So even if I don't know where our saving grace is going to come from, but this needs to stop. We need to preserve and our Galam water say bodies. Now. And, and Galam Galam say now. now. Free the citizens. It's affecting us. It's oh, affecting yeah, yeah, everybody. Yeah, is, not just me. Not just you. Not just even someone... Even the person that brought he eating the Hershey chocolate or something is affecting you too because at the end of the day, you still come the back same on. cocoa that is produced here, you're using those same dirty water, poison infected water to treat this cocoa that is imported or exported to your country. We have to do better. Let's Please, come together to, to fight Galamse. It's, it's seriously de- bad. Stop Galamse now. Stop Galamse Anytime Galamse we now. talk about Galamse, then my emotions fly high. Oh, I mean. Anyways, free the citizens also, and it is also the month of breast cancer awareness. Don't forget, you know, let him go. suck something. <laughs> <laughs> let him suck. Oh, don't forget, <laughs> don't forget to pass by the hospital to do your various scans. Allow the men to, to you know, please. Yeah, can you want to this? <laughs> Don't forget, please, let him suck something small to preserve yeah, your yeah, one yeah. breast. We beg you. Yes. Please, don't be yes. chiseled. In, uh, Take care of your breast. If there are any habits that, you know, you do, excessive drinking, excessive smoking, certain lifestyle, you have to be active more, go to the gym, do better, to, you know, to be healthy. All that will prevent all Regular this. Regular checkups. Exactly. It's very important. I mean, now, before I even get into the topic of the day, I've got a couple questions for you. When you wake up in the morning, what do you do? Do you reach out to your phone in a haste to check up notifications or what's happening on the internet? Or you at the read time a time to go down on your knees, say a prayer if you believe in prayers. Or do you, you read you, a you book? go take a stroll. What do you do when you wake up in do the morning? Do you read a book? This must have given you an idea of what our topic for today is. Well, I'm still learning chess. Yeah, I still allowed to play sport. And of course, I'm still on the game 
of chess. I really want to master this by the end of the episode. So I'm taking you guys along with me, my learning chess journey. By the time I finish, I'll be competing worldwide. I'm here with my Black Mamba. Yes. Just teaching her some skills, you know. Today, my name is Black Mamba. Every yeah. day, Coco gives me a new name. So today, I'm what? Black Mamba. Black, Black Mamba, Mamba is a snake. Oh. Yeah. But hey. then you are looking as sexy as that no, snake. No, no. Don't, don't look... <laughs> Don't look at this the snake. Okay. Look at the beauty. Yes, baby. Of the snake, black how mama. it moves. Like I'm black. I mama. mean, look at this chocolate and caramel. <laughs> no, she, 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 she's though. beautiful, man. Oh, like, thank you. Baby. I'm not using black mamba in a negative way at all. Of course, it's I a very that. positive, yeah, yeah. beautiful creature in its own way. Yeah, and I believe today you look with ravishing long, too. With your long black dress, the just, hype is getting into my head. You just remind me of a black mamba. Oh, sleek, straight to the point, and salzy. Thank you. <laughs> okay. okay. Well, when do you ever think I should take a break from social media? I don't know. Have you ever thought of that before? Like, Isa, have you ever thought? Yeah, oh. actually. Have. I think I feel too. I think I should just back away. You know, sometimes it can get very overwhelming. Yeah, you it know, does. you are online, you are seeing this, you are seeing that. See, even distorts like your your sleep process. You're sleeping, and then something just pops up. Oh, I have to go and check this out. You go back before you realize, three a.m. And those of us that suffer with sleep, insomnia, insomnia. Ah, please, it gets even worse. The night, but yeah, I actually have tried. Sometime I t- I try to take just disconnect from the digital you know technology and everything just take a break for like three days but it's very hard nobody talks about how hard it is to take a break from social media that's why i first asked you what do you do when you wake up some of us when we wake up in the morning we don't even check if our legs are still working yeah, i wake up mm. i just go straight to my phone right i'll say the truth but at the same time i am someone who is always termed as someone who is mia Missing in action. Thank you. <laughs> I never knew this word till someone said, you are always MIA. Why? And I said, ah. But until the person explained to me and said, you're always missing in action. You're not online when they need you to be. You're yeah. not like... And I'm like, I have my times. Like, I have my times I want to be mm-hmm. online. If that period is over, you it's very hard to, to be honest, you call me. So you actually have like a period of time oh, that yes. oh, you take for oh, social yes. media. Yes. And it, if you're done... It might not oh. be consistent that every morning, no, every afternoon by this time, no. Just that 24 hours. I have some time that I dedicate to social media. If so, I'm there, I am there. Okay. If you send me a message while I'm online, I will reply as fast as I can. But if you're not, you're not. If I'm not, reply. I'm not. If I'm but not what online, do you do when you take this break? Like I play chess. Oh. I play games. Okay. Ludo Uno. I... I mean, I interact, personal interactions. Mm. I go out, hang with friends. I go by the beach. That's very good. Yeah, I, I try to do more outdoor stuff. Me that I'm a loner, who am I going to go out with? I I'm always on myself. Baby. Baby. To make me you have feel to, you have to right do better. <laughs> <laughs> I got yeah. you, I got you. We can go do outdoor stuff. Like Now let's do that. Some of the things um, that excessive use of social media can cause when you're always online, you know. Yeah, I mean, like, there are people that have complained of, like, especially if, like, your lights are, like, really bright and then you're always staring into your phone, Mm -hmm. especially in the middle of the night and all that, it can affect your eyesight. And also, it makes you lose focus, okay, if you have something important to do. When you say focus? What do you mean? Distractions. Have some time for yourself. How I'll deal with such a situation? Mm. I mean, like, I'm going to watch you when you're done and you're now ready to talk for that one minute or two minutes that you're going to surely that go back. That me on us. I mean, why would I want to be on a date with you and you're on At that, that moment, I also let you know that my time is up and I also need to go and be in my safe space where I love so much because since it's not a mutual date between us and you look like you don't want to be here and your phone gives you much happiness than sitting right beside me I'd much like for you to have time with your phone than to sit right next to me here you can okay now you're out no 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 wait relax no but I'm from here now yes but then count seven I told you or L 
So meaning you can land here. In your next move, it draws that way. You get it. What if you you take you, you take it there before my next move? I want to take you out. Make it easy for me. I'm a beginner. You can't be this Okay. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not being wicked. I'm teaching you my love. So like this. Yeah. And mine is here like this. So why is it that the knight only the knight is able to jump over? That's the rules. Who makes the rules? I don't know. <laughs> why are they only really protecting the king to it? So the queen, the queen's life does not matter here. No, nope. the queen is also part of the protectors because at the end of the day, it's a it's, it's a fort. Okay, you're building, you're maintaining the fort. We are supposed to protect the king and the queen. So why should only the king be protected? Isa, this one here, or let me and you uh, go back to I'm the roots of chess. I'm not, I'm, not and we're going to ask them anything. why they've done but it I don't like that. Understand. Me, I only learn the game. So, like on the battlefield, when obviously the commander die or the ch the king is killed, then you have to retreat. This is yeah, like, okay. okay. So it's just so that's that's your commander, that's your king. The moment he's off, you don't exist anymore. You are done. Hmm. Checkmate. Game over. I have to take out your king. Your kingdom has to collapse. I'm coming there to take away Ooh. all your lands we'll and see, farm we'll there and stuff. It'll take time, my dear. I mean, let's also look at you know um, 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 comparison when it comes to too much consumption of social media. Like you're always on the internet. You see girls your age, boys your age, they are doing this. They are doing big things. Then you start questioning yourself: um, Am I unworthy of these things? Hmm, that's the thing, you know, Isa. Like social media has brought so much pressure because, especially to the weak mind, I wouldn't say that. There was a time where I also felt pressured because, yeah, you see different, different people, your your mates, even people younger than you, doing so much of course. for yeah, themselves, they're, they're PJs. I mean, like enjoying jets. life, and then you are still, like, working your ass off, and then you are not even at that criteria yet. Mm. You are not even close to getting that kind of freedom. And then you, you, all of, you see someone younger than you, I don't know, traveling, going places. See? They always I, I won't even lie. I can't I can't even lie on that. I'm just gonna be as honest as possible. Seeing those things, it fucks up in my mind. But it's Pardon my thing, French, though. excuse my French, but then this is what I mean. I can be watching, I'm like, really? Ah. So we we are all coming from different walks of life. I it had to get to a, I got to a point where I had to be like, you know, all fingers are not equal. Some yeah. people their yeah, lives not. were offered to them on a silver platter. They're coming from a wealthy family. Before you even get somewhere, there are connections built up for you. So why would you compare your life to somebody that has everything to their disposal, whatever it takes they want they get? So when you start doing that, mm. that's when you realize that you need a social media detox. Because at the end of the day, why are you comparing yourself to someone else? And plus, social media is not a real place, guys. Remember, social Nobody media is going to it's not their... a real place. Nobody, mm. you barely find people even posting crying. I don't know themselves crying and all that. Wait, Unless, wait I'm not. I'm not diverted. See, but I feel crazy that, about people who would you know pick up their phone and be crying even on social that, media. You have That's not crazy. Seen the whole story. It's just a highlight. You don't but, know the whole story, and you can't assume that just because someone has showed you crying on social media, they are crying in real life. Don't assume that. It will be your worst mistake. But nobody would want to put their downfall on social media. They'll bring it's their very rare. Part. Yes, it's very mm. rare. But let's not forget funny face. When his low his low time came, you know he's been posting mm. some very um yeah, that that issue it is conventional things like um no shade here sending much love and um I recovery to you love and light but at the end of the day mm. social media is not a real place it's just a means I don't know for people to um express themselves. And like bond and interact. No, I mean, Let's even work. at the end of the day, people are looking for traffic. People are looking for the numbers. They yeah, want people clouds, to come to their page. Clouds, so clouds. whatever thing it is that will put out there for people to get to their page, that's what they are going to put. And you know, you don't have to compare your life to people's lives because you don't even know what they are doing behind closed doors. Don't get me wrong. I'm not saying maybe they are doing bad things. You don't know the things they've been through or, or the kind of go struggles through. they had to face. Everybody, you know, at some point in life, experience their own battle. They find their own battles, and they are not going to put that on social media for you to watch. Of course not. I would also want to come and it's sit on social things. media with my wine, sipping somewhere in, um, you know, Santorini or somewhere in Barbados, having fun. That's what yeah. I want to put there, and then you see that and be pressured because it's two things. It's either you work your, you work your bum off to get what you want, or you go for the easiest 
or the easier way of life. I don't know what they are. They are numerous. It's just like that song. If you drink water, drop cup. You want to bam back. You, you want to chill with the big you boys? You don't know what they are doing behind closed doors. You don't know. Yeah. So you don't know what be... it takes to chill with the big boys. So please, mm-hmm. if it didn't come naturally and you think you know other means, if it is to off your pants or whatever, <laughs> you climb can, bed. You can you can do it if that's what you want. But me personally, I like to always like deserve what I get. I like to like work. you want to earn it. Yeah, I want to earn mm-hmm. whatever I get or whatever I achieve. So yeah. at the end of the day, I don't want it to be given to me on a silver platter. And yes, mark my words, please. So if I, I offer don't... you soft one million and you won't take it. Why will you give me soft one million? Because it's I want too to... good to be true now. So you won't take it? Eh, no. Unless, Monday. unless you let me know why I deserve that one million. It's too good to be true. No, maybe I just see you and I like you. You know, I just want to give it to you. you so take only it. for my beauty. Yes. Hey! Then I'm not. I, it's a God who bless you. Amen. That's why I will bless you Amen. and all your family members. Now, now, now you, you, you take it. But still, yeah, still, it's still too good to be true. You can send. Please, you can send. Should I give my details? <laughs> How can I say, yeah, give me one million. I'll just make sure that maybe I don't end up dead. Do it now, do it. I'm taking one, two, three. How, how, I'm so sorry. How can a beginner be playing? <laughs> you take me, I well, take you. you do that to me? Me? I'm just a beginner. Oh, baby, you know, say you dead do me, love, love me. This is not me. Hey. I'm sorry. You can't take me out. How? Let's go, let's go, let's go. It's I'm my turn to move. Hey. I feel like you can take me out here. Yeah, try and out. see, try and see. Hey, this thing is. I'm stuck here. Do you spoil my coordination? Why? I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> I'm taking it out. Okay, so. No, I actually love it. It's, it's very interesting. You moved the pawn on the side. Yes. Okay, Are you so. going to take me out? No. I don't even know what's happening. Anyways, it's still the Loud Whisper show. No minus. Playing our chess. Of course. Enjoying ourselves and we are literally here for you. Uh, we are obviously a <coughs> social media detox, right? When do you take a break? Um, well, uh, things that I've done that has helped me. When to take a break from social media? When to detox? <coughs> when to get out of touch with technology connect with people re- build relationships when it gets overwhelming when you find yourself too fixated on the life other people are living that you forget to even be content with what you have and don't get me wrong contentment doesn't mean you don't strive for more like oliver twist it's the, it is the nature of human to always want more right you would all agree but then, while you want more, you are content with what you have. And gratitude always works. brings more blessings. Yeah, so when it becomes overwhelming, when you find yourself too fixated on the life other people are living, and when you think, oh, you can't make it, then you know it is finally time for you to take a break from social media. Perfect way to start. Yeah. What are some various ways we, you know, as humans or as people, you what can are some take a break from yeah, social media? I mean, you can set limits for yourself. You can set yeah. a time where you know that, oh, by this time, I'm not going to be on social media. I'm probably going to read a book or I'm going to, I don't know, go out, hang out yeah, by the friends. beach with some friends. Um, I'm just going to do something relevant, you know, to improve my life than be on social media scrolling 247. Uh, you can also. I think you can also set um time limits because I I've done that with TikTok. When I'm on there for like a maximum of ten minutes, they remind me that okay, your your time to take a break is up. Sometimes I get too stubborn and then I. Oh, you get like yeah. what they call on your phones um your screen screen um, time yeah your yeah, screen yeah. Time iPhone has on that. an iPhone yeah, yeah it has I, that. I'm sure Android has something uh, yeah, similar sure. right yeah. It, it monitors your data use. Your data use. Or like how you use data. On oh, yeah, Android. I think I know yeah. about that. For maybe within two hours, you use this number of data. Yeah. It stops. So if within two uses. hours, you're going to use one gigabyte of, I don't know, data, then I'm sorry, you need a social media detox. <laughs> 
So yeah, setting clear goals. If you know that, okay, and so uh, don't, social media also leads to uh, you know the, the spirit of uh, procrastination. Yeah, you have something to do, pal, but you're like, oh, let me watch this, especially oh. when you're on TikTok at night. Let me watch this when I finish. I'll see, go and watch it. The more you're scrolling, there's always gonna be something. I mean, interesting, interesting to ah. find something interesting to watch, something interesting to engage in all the time. There's always going to be something. So if you don't set that limit or that time for yourself and you don't stick by it, you're just going to be lost in social media like the whole day. It can go on. I know people who don't sleep, they'll go on, they'll be on social media, Twitter. They, mm-hmm. Like, I mean, there are other types of social medias that people are on. Yeah, I'm, I'm not really, you already Yeah, know. social media. I mean, yeah. I mean, I'm trying to get back on, but even that it's so yeah, hard sometimes. Best. I even forget there's even anything like TikTok or WhatsApp. But TikTok is very addictive. So, you know, at midnight, that's when people go there yeah, to TikTok, watch ASMR TikTok. videos. I'm not on TikTok, but yeah. To extract. People All enjoy those watching funny videos. By the time you realize. People eating. You 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 have spent like three hours there watching things. So social media it's is actually causing more harm than good. I always say that it is a tool. You use it for you know the things. You use it wisely. You use it intentionally. Okay, say so you want to. Uh, I like that word intentionally. Intentionally, yes. Okay, I'm all here. I just I'm bored. I just want to take twenty minutes to watch some funny videos and laugh. That is very intentional. After that, you are done. You go and do whatever it is you want to do. But you know, if you don't really have anything doing or you have something doing, you procrastinate. You are on your phone. You know, sometimes you can send a video to somebody and they'll say, oh, I've seen that. Yeah, I've seen that. Oh, no, news. You don't <laughs> but imagine you've not seen it. They'll be like, ah, you've not seen this. They'll be like, ah, you, you don't, you're are not you, up to yeah, date at all. Are you living under a rock? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> See, it is fine to miss out if it will help your sanity. It is fine to miss out, miss out oh, on your me. mental health. You don't though. necessarily have to know everything that's going on unless maybe that is your job. If that's your job, of course, you have to be up to date on certain well, news things help. happening but if that's not your job you have other things doing and you are, you are too concerned about getting to know whatever that's happening ah uh, you it will do you more harm than, than good. good try mm-hmm. and be in the real life try and emerge yourself into the reality of this world you know that's what you have to do Man. so i mean aside um, um you know taking a break from it social media by certain time limits and all that we should also prioritize building interpersonal relationships of course social media has taken that away we mentioned that you'll be on a date with a man or a woman and they are so on their phone before you say oh give me one second you say something i'm not even paying attention uh, what do you say it yeah, kills now, i hate to pity myself how would you build relationship for someone like i hate to repeat myself if i say something that you didn't hear and i know you truly didn't hear the first time and I have to say it again just because you were not paying attention to me. To be very honest, I just say it's okay. Never mind. Mm-hmm. It wasn't important yeah. to begin with. Because if it was, you mm-hmm. would listen. So I'll just say, oh, never mind. It's fine. And it will thank you because you of want course. me to repeat it. And then it's going to be what you were doing there. of offend yeah. me. I mean, you know, going out of this, as growing up, that was actually when so- social media started, you know, taking part. Those were the days of what Facebook. Yeah, Facebook. But even when there was, was musically, you would go to your friends' place, go and sleep over. You guys to catch up, play some games. We used to play Ampe. We used to play Owari and stuff. You know, I know, you right? Building relationship. Even it's at the chess we are playing. The chess we are playing right now. right now. You build relationship. We are bonding. But now you can even be in a room with a friend, and you guys are like quiet. I mean, it's a healthy silence though, but. Nobody's even talking to each other. You, ju- you just be on your phone. You are doing your own thing. It is not nice. We should learn how to prioritize things. You know, set limits on how you use social media. I always, that would help you build relationships with I, your loved ones. Yeah. Of course. And I always say social media is not a real place. Mm-hmm. Because anybody can... Social media is what they want you to know, okay? That's that will it. put on there. Of what they want you to know mm-hmm. is what you're going to put on there. Mm-hmm. So if someone doesn't want you to know something, don't think in a thousand years you can find out through social media. You cannot. Mm-hmm. Yeah, of course. You can't. You know, okay. pe- people, they don't even have time to ask you, oh, how has your day been? What do you have going on? No. You're talking and they're like, mm, mm, mm. They're on their phone. Mm, mm. For if you get a reply. <laughs> <laughs> But that thing, it hurts so bad. Imagine you're talking to somebody about how you feel. You're venting to them. Then if you're like, hmm? Thumbs up. I'll fucking die. Thumbs up. Yeah, you know, it can, it can get very bad. But social media detox is very important. 
don't get us wrong we are not saying social media is bad we all use it we all use social media it has become an integral part of our lives but we are saying if you don't watch how you use it it can be very detrimental to you know your health it can affect your relationship with people how you relate with people it can even make you socially awkward because you're always on your phone let's say you're at the airport and your your battery has died there are a lot of people sitting around you how would you oh hi hello how are you doing you can't do that because you're not used to it you're not used to it you're always on your phone you become socially awkward and there are people who um, i'm sorry to say but they can be on social media for such a long time they wouldn't want to go anywhere they would just want to be in a couch like a couch potato or like <laughs> slum somewhere and just i don't know yeah and then at the end of the day you realize that this person maybe needs to work on themselves physically mm-hmm. i don't know mm-hmm. i don't have to realize it maybe you know that you have to work on yourself maybe you've been wanting to say oh, Let's go to the gym. Let's go to the gym. But if you're someone Somehow. like me, you always be gymming with your mouth. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> continue gymming with your mouth. At the end of the day, time will catch up to you, and then you can't just do it within oh, a day. Yeah, of course. You need that process. So please, don't let social media disrupt you from doing. It, take life. your focus from things that you actually want to do in real life, because the moment you start doing that, you need a social media detox. Mm-hmm. Social media detox, it is very important. So when to take a detox, when you're overwhelmed, when you, you think you're, you start comparing your life to others, they know that, whoa, I actually have to take a chill pill, relax and set back. It is even fine to mute certain people that if you watch their lifestyle, it makes you think you're lacking behind. Me, there's not everything I watch these days. I'll see something very flashy, flamboyant lifestyle on social media. I just keep, because I don't want that to get into my head and have me feeling like, okay, I'm not worth it or I'm, I'm lacking behind, right? So, yeah, when it gets overwhelming, when you, st- you, you start comparing, and remember, comparison is a thief of joy. So, yeah, take a break from social Indeed. media. Limit the time you use it. Get in touch with friends. Play some games, like the way Mondi and I are playing. Mondi, am I making the next move? Yeah. Oh, I'm a beginner. I'm scared that she'll kick me out, but let's try, Sha. I'm, I'm kicking it. Have you I'm kicked me out? Girl. I've moved. Oh, I'm wrong. Mm, that's right. Please don't, don't, don't kill me. Please. Please. Now, wow. Please. One, two, three, four. Hey! Oh, okay. This one's exciting. <laughs> Please, to all the professional chess players, I am a beginner. I am a beginner. I am a beginner. You should have closed your eyes. No, 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 no. I'm a beginner. Please pardon me. Pardon me. Pardon me. Can you my heart? Don't touch my heart. No, but I can still take this out. Don't touch my heart and see. Wait, I can take this out, right? Diagonal, my pretty lady. You can only take diagonal. No, but inside this move straight. Yes, so you can't move again. I can't move again. We block each other. Why am my way? So why can't I take it out? That is the rules. Who makes the rules? We don't know. It's the rules. <laughs> hey. Well, uh, so which one do I move now? So now you have to find another way. I think it's not the only pawn. There are other pawns. I'm so scared you ch- take me out walk. now. Man, you come. Don't be just if you have a fear. It's fine. It's fine. I've moved. I've moved. Go with your full chest. I've, You're I've your come. chest. I've come. Ah, come That's with me. your full chest. Shift me. Okay. 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 Yeah, I mean, I don't even know what else to do. Detaching from the digital world. It is unhealthy. It is very good to some extent, but we yeah. have to learn how to limit it. Your whole life should revolve around the digital yeah. world. Mm-hmm. Online world, it can get very stressful sometimes yeah. because that's where people feel like, ah, when you meet someone face to face, they can't tell you their opinion straight yeah. out. It is not that like you bent know, social media. It's very like rare. Status. But yeah, this is an example of detaching from social media and spending time with loved ones. We could have been on our phones. We could have been, I don't know. Ignoring each other, mm. but there is love. There's love here. Love Lucia. Mwah. I love her so much. You didn't sing for me today. You didn't hear the Lomo Lomo. This thing will be. Hey, we go do one. Oh. You're not singing. You did do me. Oh my Lord. You did do me. 
I mean, guys, this brings us to the beautiful end of Loud Whispers. I had such an, an amazing time on here. Please make sure to join us same day, same time next week. And make sure to find us on all social media platforms. Monday, you, they can find us on YouTube yes. at YTMN TV. Spotify. Uh, right, YTMN Podcast. And you can also follow us TikTok. on TikTok. TikTok, Instagram at Loud Whispers. Remember, we whisper the perspectives loud and what? Clear. And please, mm -hmm. don't think your opinions don't matter. They matter to it me. It matters. They matter to Isa. Over so here. please, let your comments flow. If Over you even want here. to bash me, Over bash here, baby. me, okay? <laughs> Gives me joy to know that you care about me to correct my mistakes. Of mistake. course, Thank of course. Over here, I'm no shooting. opinion. No opinion is either too small or too big. Never. Every opinion is accepted. So make sure to join in on the conversation by leaving your comments in the comment section. My name is Isabella. Call me Isabi if you may. And remember, this is... This month, October, the month of love, it is the month for breast cancer awareness. Sucky, Go for sucky. your mammograms, baby. That's Go for your... Right. Sucky, Go for sucky. the scans. Allow the men, feel free. Let, let them, them suck it. Let them help you get rid of those lambs. It is very important, all jokes aside, breast Bye, cancer sucky. awareness, we, we don't you know, pay more attention to it. So I'm particularly glad that this month is actually Pink dedicated October. to that. Pink October. Ba ladies, take care of your boobs. Take care of it. Take care of it. Make sure to, you know, be active. Quit some, you know, uh, bad lifestyles that are detrimental to your health, like excessive smoking, excessive drinking. Cut it down. Your health is way more important. And, and don't forget, mm -hmm. anytime you have a negative feeling, every time on social media, every time a certain post or a certain negative content is weighing you down, don't be shy. Don't say, oh, because... Amma will be angry. I haven't texted her for days. No. Amma is going to be angry. I've not replied mm -hmm. her streak for mm -hmm. hours. No. Take that time off. It's about you. Your Please. health matters. You need to your detox. Matters. You need to refresh yourself. You need to go and come back anew. So please have time to detox yourself off social media. Mm -hmm. Have time to take a break from social this media. This is very important. It's very, very important. Yeah. You will not even realize how important it is till you feel that sense of freshness and renewal mm. after your break and you're yep. back to all the chaotic mess yes thank Monday you very much for you my name is isabella you can call me isabi if that's fine by you and this brings us to the very end of the loud whispers session for today i'll see you same time same day next week have fun cheers big mama with got the big you ears. babe <laughs> bye guys see bye you next time. it's always the loud whispers show